Welcome back to construction and renovation here on a frigid day at Nippert Stadium. Tom Glitter, happy to be alongside project manager Bob Martin, where cold temperatures won't stop the work going on, and that means it will not stop Hard Hat Wednesday. We will get you all the latest here in this update as we check in for the first time in three weeks. And Bob, it is a very cold day, and I know the entire team, Dennis Cooper's folks, everybody's making sure that everybody is safe, despite really a negative five degree wind chill right now. No, we're all behind uh, tarps and yeah. close to heaters, and it's, uh, first of all, Happy New Year. Yes. Uh, and it's hard to believe that uh, we endured this last year. We were in the ground, and now we're uh, facing these temperatures again. But it's short-lived, I'm sure, and we'll make it through it. And the workers are, are staying warm. and. And the equipment uh, is dealing with it so far. We haven't heard of any major equipment problems, but if it if, if, it, if it, it continues for an extended period of time, well, obviously we'll have some equipment issues, but uh, we're largely indoors now, which is a good thing. That's why you see most of the building completely enclosed with temperature, temporary enclosures so that we could contain the temporary heat and so the workers could get some, some work done. Temporary enclosures right now but one of the things that you'll notice if you're here on campus or checking out the webcam is that a lot of permanent walls both interior and exterior are starting to go in right the uh, on the west side the, the purple wall as we call it which is the underlayment to the finished skin that's uh, taking another lift uh, to up to the roof uh, over there by the tuc dock so that's uh, that's a pretty pretty noticeable change since we last spoke um, and on the uh, east side um, we're behind the tarps, we're going to be putting up the uh, framing for the east side um, uh, storefront. Uh, then the glass will be popping in there. So over the next uh, few weeks, tarps will start coming down and then it'll be replaced by uh, a, a framing system with some glass. It won't be permanently detailed, but uh, we'll start seeing the, uh, the, uh, the likes of glass and, and the, the final finishes on the east side. Starting to come from you today here from the proximate area of the Founder Suite and the AD Suite, where those will be come August and September of 2015. The press box further behind us, and this is the final level where all the precast concrete is going in. Yep, the uh, concrete, the precast concrete should be done this week, and um, the crane, the big red crane, will be leaving uh, the following week, and uh, the craneway will be largely turned over for storage of materials as they come in because we have basically no room on the west side to keep our fire lane open and to keep the workers and movement of materials uh, uh, happening so we're going to be using what area we can for for laying down of all the glass pallets and, and all the other pieces and parts that make this building yeah no question now before that crane disappears we'll start to see some of the lighting yep. be attached to this structure the lighting is being uh, pre-assembled uh, in uh, in shops and um, then their big red crane will be lifting it up to the to the roof line and so we'll see the, the permanent line of, of, of lights all along the, uh, the roof line as opposed to having a fly swatter type of lighting arrangement that we have on the east side. We're going to have a linear array of lights all across the front of the roof on the east side of uh, Nippert. Uh, so it'll be pretty spectacular looking. One of the areas of this building that you've been excited about really since we started coming up here is that rooftop terrace. And yeah. boy, is it taking shape. The terrace is that uh, we're uh, framing the exterior sloped wall, and um, that's going to be a fun place to be. Right below it, of course, is the South Club Lounge. That's where you're going to find me. Um, but uh, we got to get there first. So, but uh, yeah, the roof, the roof terrace is, is going to be uh, uh, the place to see uh, and to be seen. Yes. Bob, on the opposite side, east side, a lot of action going on over there, including a lot of drilling as they get ready to start building those support piers. A year ago, we were drilling on this building, and now we're drilling on the other side, on the east side. Um, we got two levels of, of drilling. On, on the lower concourse, we're drilling for the, the permanent stairs to Shank Pavilion. And then on the upper concourse, we're, we're drilling for the two-story restroom and concession stand. So uh, that, that's about a week uh, week's worth of work, and then we're going to be drilling for the new light poles over there. So lots of drilling, and uh, the weather, we should be able to endure that uh, okay. with, the, with the temperatures because we did that last year as well. Biggest change we expect to see in the next three weeks before our next chat, would that be the glass going in and, and really what this structure will look like? Well, I mean, yeah, you're getting a little ahead of the, but okay. yeah, it's going in that direction. Uh, glass will start arriving, and but the framing on the east side of, of, of uh, to my right is uh, is what we're going to start seeing uh, on the exterior, along with the continuation of that purple wall over there by the TUC dock, 
uh, and the framing on this end too. A lot, a lot of exterior framing will be going on, but then a lot of, a lot of interior work as well. So it's just happening all over the place. It's hard to capture it all in a few moments. Oh yeah, no question about that. We'll be back out here in a couple of weeks to talk about it again. Hopefully it'll be a few degrees warmer, but it doesn't matter. Hard Hat Wednesday rolls on either way. Bob, we appreciate the time as always. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, that's Bob Martin, our first update of 2015. You can certainly see the progress as they are staying busy here at Nippert Stadium. Alongside Bob, I'm Tom Glitter with the latest here from Nippert Stadium on Bearcats TV.